Florian has a question. I want to upload some files to SharePoint which have the same file name. How can I instantly, instantly rename them when uploaded? Maybe by adding the ID in the name? Is there any possibility standard or maybe with Power Automate? Well, I think there's plenty of possibilities. And I think the instant option is when you upload those files, you're probably going to have a wizard type experience come up and say, do you want to replace these files? Or do you want to overwrite them with a new name? I believe is how the experience goes. So if you go with the one with the overwrite with a new name or, or create with a new name, excuse me, it will append a, a unique ID after it, like a one, a two, a three, and so on, depending on the name of the files. Uh, is there something else built in that can do that for you automatically? I think there may have been something in classic SharePoint that would uh, rename files for you as part of, uh, uh, what was that thing called? Not the drop library or something like that. And yeah. of course, anything with Power Automate is possible um, and you would, trigger off of when a new file is added or created to the library. There, there's plenty of options. It depends on how much uh, digging you want to do into this and technical debt that you might want to incur. Well, I'm curious to know how the, the others see this as well. For me, it's if you've got a SharePoint, why are they all going into one SharePoint if it's different people with the same name? Uh, I, you know, I, I always question it a little bit because <clears throat> go back to the individuals in terms of, you know, is it potentially, uh, is it like multiple coming into one space? Why are they coming? Should they be still? Well, it's it's file names, not individuals with the same name. It's it's Yeah, but file names even, if you've got file names, like is it coming from uh, an old shared drive or, uh, you know, because mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's in a different folder, does not matter? But if it's in the same folder, then... You know, I always could have question, well, why is it all being dumped into one repository? And is that actually the best way to go ultimately? Because um, if they're all coming together, I always ask a bit, well, why? And can you go back to looking at well, what's going on in the first place for them to be doing that? What concerns me is that because one, you can always just look at there's that risk, you know, make sure versioning is turned on so that mm -hmm. you can go and quickly correct that. Because, yeah, so what are you doing? Are you cleaning up, like consolidating? Or is it yeah. the right version, the right order? That's uh, my I mean, concern. People then mm -hmm. won't know where their files are. They've lost their files. Well, I think they're lost because it's been renamed and they go to look for that named file and it's done. Will they know the new ID or whatever structure, what file name? Have you had a good um, naming convention? And if, so they're all the sort of things that I start to go, well, why? Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to leave, leave ultimately the end user in some pain trying to right, just find right. things so but it's like well, yeah wasn't there a feature at some point maybe it still is where if you put the same file on into the same document library it could essentially create a new version of it so the one in sharepoint you upload a new one and it just the new yeah. one becomes it does ask another you, version. You know, do you want to keep do you want to keep both as part of going up, it does that give you that message. Do you want to keep both? And you go, right. yes, and it does. It actually creates it with the two after it, you know, one, and then right. it gives you the brackets number two, number three, number four. Um, you know, had that where it just does do that automatically. So I then mm. kind of go, well, if you're creating an ID off the back of it, then people aren't going to get going to get a little confused in the right. long run in terms of file. They think their file is lost. I've seen it before. It's like I can't find my file. <laughs> it's like, well, it's been all renamed on you. <laughs> Right. So I, I did work with someone in the past and their business case was to maintain versions. And I was like, oh, this is no problem with SharePoint. It's got versioning built in. But they were like, no, not the the system file version, but the business file version like that, mm -hmm. that published official release date, which was more of a business date than a technical date. So you wouldn't go on like a modified date. So and I was like, I, I don't see the difference. You're going to have to explain it to me. And they're like, well, we we published this version of the policy. It's effective of this date. But there was like a typo in the document. And we need to update the policy to fix the typo. But it doesn't warrant a new release date of the policy. They're just going to sneak in the change. But they don't want the published version to be out of sync with the internal system version. So we had to maintain a published version file name. And 
we used some form of automation. I think it was probably Power Automate at this point to have that published version date and number associated to it. So I can I can understand Florian's need that business case to maybe maintain yeah, them. Yeah. It kind of goes against everything we know about SharePoint, where yeah. you you want a single source of the truth. Uh, version history is a, a great way of self service and getting the uh, uh, the most out of that that SharePoint uh, feature set. But uh, yeah, it kind of goes. The question, Florian, goes against you know some of our better instincts. And so, assuming that you have one of those use cases, great. You have plenty of options in the technology. Power Automate's the first one that I would probably go to. And, and so uh, many third party tools as well, Norm. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. other, you know, you don't have to necessarily do it yourself. There are some other, even some low cost to free migration tools that are out there, not generally free as a rule, but, um, you know, there is other tools out there to be able to help and support with that mm -hmm. migration, let alone Microsoft. You know, Microsoft will help on migrations and things too. I still say that for the majority of people that are looking and say, hey, yeah, I want that instantly rename. It's like, no, just use yeah. the versioning. It's all yes. still there. You need yeah. you can go backwards and find that other stuff, but mm. don't. I mean, it, yeah, because reference searchable. If I'm looking for and I find a you know document one versus document four, then that makes Which me think, the well, there are other numbers the out there. What's the difference? Yes. What do I need to be yes. looking at? Which is the latest version of that? <laughs> all those other problems that come from it. Yeah, right. yeah, that's it. Let yeah. the versioning handle it. You know, modify with metadata, other things. You know, the, the, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we, you know, as people who are fans of SharePoint, just want Florian and all people like Florian to avoid underscore version one, underscore version two. Final, three, four, final ending, final version one. Yeah, final, final, today's final, date, final. Tomorrow's date. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Too funny. I'm Great always in final envy. <laughs> yeah. You see it in those folders. Ooh, we're all in final MV. Can, is, it, is there an infin, infinite symbol that we can add as well? <laughs> oh, yes. So yes. final, so, infinite, and yeah. just, you know. I think Microsoft deliberately took that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Windows, period, key. Is it there? <laughs> <Sorry>. uh, hmm. <laughs>